Oh hi! Welcome to my Amish kitchen. Today I'll be making very authentic pies. <laughs> Come with us. The Amish community in Lancaster, Pennsylvania live an incredibly unique lifestyle. In this video, we'll share what we learned about them in our recent trip to the Amish farm and house. In the late 1700s, the Amish decided to insulate their community from the outside world. A deeply religious community, they saw the rapidly modernizing outside world and its influence as ungodly. And wanting to preserve a simple and pure way of life, they would continue to preserve their traditions and rural lifestyle for the next 200 years. Here, we see a special barn for drying tobacco. What we learned in our trip is that it wasn't necessarily electricity itself that the Amish found distasteful, but rather it was connection to and reliance on other people who aren't Amish. Curiously, the term they use for all people that aren't part of their community is English, regardless of whether they speak English or not, or what country they're from. It may surprise you to learn that contemporary Amish folk do have electricity in their homes, but it has to be generated on site by solar power or by burning kerosene or diesel. The Amish also use batteries to power small appliances like lamps, the same kind of batteries you might use for a weed whacker or a leaf blower from Home Depot. A typical Amish kitchen will have a refrigerator, which cools their food with power generated from burning kerosene. Well water is also pumped in for their sinks. Among the Amish, not standing out too much is a virtue. Amish folk tend to dress plainly and very much like one another. Children are typically educated until the eighth grade before they join their family business, and that's usually either farming or crafting. The Amish houses in Lancaster occur alongside and between other modern houses, so it's not a single Amish village like some would imagine. They get to and from one another's houses by walking, taking a horse and buggy, or by scooter. The Amish do not use bicycles, we were told, because a bicycle as a method of travel is far too convenient and they don't want anyone to easily be able to go far from their home. And this begs a very English question. How could the Amish escape if Godzilla attacks? A deadly serious question if you live on the internet. Of course, this is not a lifestyle I could see for myself. While trying to keep life simple and pure, what they settled on as acceptable norms seemed to me needlessly inefficient and actually kind of complicated. I can respect the principles of keeping a simple and uncomplicated life, working hard, and the importance of self-reliance and discipline. While there's no doubt that they take their principles very seriously, I wonder really how much anyone can disconnect from the outside world. And how has the multi-billion, that's billion with a B, dollar tourism industry in Lancaster affected their community? I mean, there are plenty of folks living on the grid in America who don't have solar panels on their roofs yet. Is this what rugged individualism and self-reliance look like in the modern age? I guess the real benefit of visiting a place like this and seeing these people living their lives is the questions that you begin asking yourself. Given my principles and beliefs about the world, am I living up to my ideals as well as they are to theirs, complicated as they may be? And if I'm not living by what I say are my beliefs, do I really believe them? What does it mean to live my truth, and how will I know I'm doing it well? And while it probably doesn't need to be said, my bias here should be obvious. I make a living in software, I play in a heavy metal band, and I post videos to YouTube in my spare time. YouTube. I mean, the Amish won't pose for pictures because they think a personal graven image is ungodly. I mean, could you imagine an Amish person asking you to like and subscribe a YouTube video? I can't. But while we're on the topic, could you like and subscribe? We hope you've enjoyed our little trip to Lancaster. We have one more video to share about the experience, but you'll need to stay tuned next week to see it. Till then. <laughs>